TV, great to have you with us for Thursday night. I hope you've been enjoying the week. I've had a lot of fun. It's been many week on Big V TV and it goes up another level tonight because the guitar man himself has had the camera in hand and he's, I don't even know what he's been doing. I haven't seen this. I've got no idea. I'm trying to do an intro for something I've got no idea about. It'll be crazy. It'll be fun. Listen to his commentary. I don't even know what language he speaks half the time, but here he is, the great man Manny Hendrix, camera in hand. It's Manny's week. He's off on some sort of adventure. Enjoy. My name is Andrew Harstead with Camp Building Better Athletes and today we're going to take Manny Hendricks through a functional movement screen where we're looking for pain, dysfunctional movement and any sort of asymmetries and then second thing we're going to do is a wide balance test where we're looking for again imbalances. Alright, go ahead and do three squats going all the way down. So practice one for me. Step over the red line, touch your heel to the ground, and return your foot. Perfect. So you're going to do that three times with your left and three times with your right. I'm watching to make sure that the stick stays level. You don't want it to tilt. Okay. Behind your neck, the stick. A little lower. Lift other hand behind the small of your back right here. And have the stick touch your head and your back and your butt the whole time. Okay. So as you lunge here, I'm watching to see if this foot stays flat, if the stick stays straight up and down, okay. and touches your head, back, and butt the whole time. What do you lunge? Right, four, step. Go on, step. Just stay, just like that. Yep, stay right where you are, yeah. Two more. Yeah. Thumbs tucked into your palms, right, yeah. fingers into the thumbs. Yeah. And you're going to try to touch your left, put your left hand behind your head like so. Yeah. You're doing a fist, your right hand behind your back like this, and you're going to try to touch your two fists together. Go ahead. Like that? Yep, just like that. Okay, other side. About right here? Yep, go ahead. Hold on, man. What the? <laughs> I think I'm like. Yeah. What the heck was that? I'm thinking like, oh yeah, I feel better. <laughs> it wasn't going. It wasn't going. No sir. They said go. Ooh. What do you mean? It's okay. Do your best for you. Now go all the way down and keep your hips on the ground and just arc your upper body up in the air like a cross. Yep. Any pain there at all? Nope. Okay, last one. My, my knees, the board between my knees, the board between my hands. Come, come forward to this board right here. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, I'm not selecting. Let's go between underneath your knee. Yeah. Oh, like that. There you go. Alright, so thumbs touching the board. Bring your thumbs together, knees together, toes together, touching the board. All right. So you're going to take your left arm and your left leg, touch, the, touch them together, extend them, touch them together, back down. Left arm and left leg. Go ahead. Thank you. 
I'm Joe Sawyer. I'm the director of human performance here at camp. Uh, I've been doing this about two years. I'm an ex NFL athlete. Um, we're going to put Manny through a little workout, a little uh, Olympic lifts, some force treadmill work, see how he deals with it, break a little sweat, get his heart rate up. So. Yeah, it's for a stress for real. Give yourself about a minute. Yeah, rest a little bit. A rest. <clears throat> yeah, rest for a second. You don't have to stay. You can get up, walk around, do whatever you want. Catch your breath. Next. <laughs> you don't want no fun. Yeah. Uh. Never quite. Ooh. Dorsiflex. They pretty much stay there. Mm -hmm. And he's on his toes. It's decent technique. Especially for a main basketball guy. Right. I was gonna say you moving fast for a hooper, bro. Yeah. I mean, cause that DB is in my blood, That's man. That's what I'm saying. Your dad is. You know what I'm saying? You got the juice, so you, you know. know what I'm saying? DB is in my blood. Thank you. Got one more. Get to that top speed right away. So before you go, make sure you walked all the way out to that strap. And that way you don't have that pick up. I think that girl took a big hand in the way. Right. Yeah, 11 on, bro. Touching that 12. That's really, that's really where we want to. Oh, working for yeah. that. I definitely felt that resistance. Yeah, bro. It kicks in, because like I said, we've done, you know, little, probably 10 or so. You know, the fact that you're still kind of up there, that says, you know, that's good. Same no go. 40 minute game, six seasons, I was 39 minutes. For real? For a game, have you ever missed? Have you missed a lot of games or not? No, I, I missed one game for ankle and set one because we already had to see. So I missed two games. And it's pretty good. Like, so if we go overtime, double overtime, like a couple years ago we played the finals. First game one went double overtime. 50 minutes, 41 shots. I was getting them up. We lost game one too. One game two, lost game three. They beat us at our home court. A little, uh, you know, a little Olympic lifting. This was snatches in. You ever snatch? No. Nah. Right. Snatching candy before. Yeah, well, I got you, bro. This is a little, you know, change of pace. Try to bring those hips through, so make sure hands right above your knee. And bring your chest over the ball. So hang your chest over. Don't sit back. Yeah. Try to hang right over the ball. So not that much. Just right here, five minutes. There you go. Nice. Like 30 seconds. All right, now you go take your time. Hands. That force guy, we got shit. Yeah, yes, you know, recover. Oh, I got to use your lap real quick. That's your lap. Yeah, that thing is fair for everybody. Morgan, you seen the guy with a shirt off before, right? Hey, man, you better. All right. You better, you better chop this up and put me some food abs. Put abs and uh, traps in there. Chris, I need all that. There we go. Give me one more. I see these back muscles work, man. I don't know 
know, they know what they're doing here. I encourage everybody to come to this place. We're back home, man. Honored tonight to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Administrator here at Layton Christian Academy. I've been here for 24 years, um, so I was certainly here when Manny showed up um, the first day, however many years ago it was. It was not 24, but it was more than five. It was probably, I don't know, get, getting close to 10 on, on that. Um, Manny started to look a little old, so, um, so I don't know how old it was. But one thing with Manny, um, Manny was here for his last two years, did a great job, good kid. Um, yeah, let's talk about his basketball rather than classroom, any of those things. But basketball, one of the things I always said about Manny is I loved watching Manny play. I absolutely loved watching Manny play. It wasn't just his physical gifts. I mean, he could shoot, although I really would like to have seen him shoot if he could actually see, because back then he didn't see so well, but he could still shoot the ball. I said, you know, the other thing, his jumping ability, he, you know, and the thing I always said with him, it wasn't just that he could jump high, he got up off the floor so quick, um, and it was fun to watch. It was fun to watch. The crowd got into it. Everybody got into it. But more than his physical abilities, the thing that I think really set Manny apart was his energy. I love players that play with energy, and he always came with energy. But even more than that, he always brought a joy. There was always something about Manny. There was a look on his face. It didn't matter what was going on. You could tell that Manny just loved to be out there, loved to compete, loved to play basketball, loved what he was doing. And I will say this about Manny the student. Manny the student was much the same way in the classroom. He brought passion, he brought energy, he brought all of those things. Maybe sometimes a little too much energy to the classroom, but still, and always was a joy to be around. People flocked to Manny, loved Manny, because Manny just, wherever he went, Manny was happy, you know, and brought a good time every time. So again, we really enjoyed having Manny here, and Manny, hey, tonight on your Hall of Fame induction, Congratulations, you truly deserve it. Before we go any further then, we got one of our own right here who's in the Hall of Fame. This right here is Manny Hendricks Jr. right here, who wound up making All-State, first team All-State, two years in a row, okay? It was a situation where he went on to play college, basketball, and then went on to play pro in Australia. He came back again tonight to receive his reward for being in the Hall of Fame. And it's, I'm gonna tell you something, I'm going to say this. Now, Manny, when he was playing here, all right, he had some problems with his eyes. He couldn't see, right? No, seriously, he had a text like this. Yeah, he did. And so then afterwards, he had surgery. But I'm going to just tell you this. He averaged 19.8 a game, okay? And you see how y'all had to come in and come out? Okay, that's how we played. But he, we only, him, he only wound up playing half a game. Average of 19.8, okay? It's just great to have you back in the house. Let's give him a round of applause. All right. All right. All right. Congratulations on the win. I'm glad y'all got a win on the night that I got inducted to the Hall of Fame. There's two things that I noticed that I want to talk to you guys about. And the first one is respect. LCA never got respect, even when I was there. But we go out there on that court every night and beat teams and earn our respect. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that y'all got to continue to do each year. So when you guys come back the same way I am, you want that team on the court to be playing hard to earn the respect to play for LCA. The second thing, legacy. We got a nice legacy at LCA. You put on this LCA uniform, that means something. That means a lot to put this uniform on. On the court, off the court, you gotta handle business in the classroom. When we get out on the court, we put on a show. We make sure whoever come watch us, the whole state is talking about LCA. No matter what division they got us playing in, we put on a show, because we got athletes out there, we gonna defend, and the crowd gonna have our back. So when y'all going to practices and wherever you go moving forward, remember, you gotta earn your respect every day. And it's not on Friday nights, it's not on Tuesday nights, it's every day during practice. That's when you earn your respect to just showcase the games is easy. The games is the easy part. You get to go out there and have fun. The 
the game is easy. Like, coach, let me go. He's going to let y'all go and practice. I already know how coach is in practice. I already know. <laughs> but during the game time, let y'all have fun. Because y'all continuing on that legacy. Continue to win championships. Continue to put LSA on the map. So when y'all come back in here, y'all gonna get the same speech 10 years from now to a group of kids that's looking you guys in the eyes like you did me. Great win. <laughs> All right, now everybody get up real quick. Get up real quick. Oh, so we got a special thing for you today. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't dancing tonight now because I, 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 last time Andy got mad because he didn't get to dance. We're going to let Andy do the dance. Whoa. Well, there he is, <laughs> entertaining as always. That was a lot of fun, I don't know how he does it. Um, tomorrow night, he's back at the desk with us. Manny joins us, uh, we're talking round 16 and it is business end of the season. And tomorrow night, make sure you tune in because the call is going out officially for another person to join us on Big V TV. I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag, I'm not gonna let you know who it is, but the call is officially going out tomorrow night. Everyone tune in, Big V TV, Friday night, 5.30, will it be you? We want another star of the Big V competition joining us for a big week next week. Uh, you'll find out who it is tomorrow night on Big V TV. See you then.